So let's take a walk through a traditional patient room and find out where our infection control opportunities are and where our cross-contaminations are. So we foam into the room, we come in and we get our gloves. And now we have our gloves on, we go address our patient. We come over and greet our patient. Um, we may or may not touch them. Then we go grab the nurse call button off the rail and give them their nurse call button in case they need some further help. So now we've touched that. We are gloved, so we've touched that. But uh, we've now technically cross-contaminated ourselves on that. So if there's nothing else we're going to do with the patient at the moment, then we're going to take our gloves off and we're going to dispose of them. And now we have to clean ourselves because we don't have any foam in the room. We either have to go to the sink or we have to go back outside and use the foam outside. So now we're going to go back into the patient room. Uh, we're going to grab our gloves again because now we want to put the patient on oxygen or take some vital signs. So we go to the other side of the bed. And again, we're talking to the patient. We may touch a patient for taking the pulse. We may apply EKG electrodes. But again, we're taking you know precautions with our gloves on. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to grab some items that we need for flow meters because the uh, oxygen stuff is on the other side. Again, we've touched the underside lip handle of a drawer. We've touched the side railing of the bed. And again, we may touch again the patient by applying electrodes and such. But again, there's no decontamination option at the bedside. And the only thing we can do at this point is walk out and use foam again um, and then walk back in. So what we're trying to do is optimize the location of hand sanitation devices to optimize the use of them um, to prevent uh, further spread of uh, diseases, hospital-acquired infections. And uh, we have to remember to go back to Gemba where work takes place. Work takes place in the patient room where the patient is, not outside in the hallway. So the video we just showed you demonstrated a less than optimal deployment of infection control devices. It made the clinicians turn their back to the patient, walk several steps in and out of the room. As a clinician myself, I'm acutely aware of how we approach not only the infection control in a room, but the workflow within the room, and how do we optimize that workflow. So we're going to demonstrate kind of a, a, a setup that would probably be a lot better for the clinicians um, at a bedside. So when you walk in the door, you have immediately a tray. This is antimicrobial. It folds up when you don't need it. Housekeeping can get to the floor and clean it effectively without having to move around a nightstand. You have access to all of your PPE, your gloves. Uh, we can put gowns in here and uh, masks. So everything you need for PPE to address your patient. You can come to your computer. You can chart in. You can log in. You can check the records. Do whatever you need to do uh, with your electronic medical records. Then you can come over here and start working with your patient. The nice part about it is that you are within just reach of everything that you need, whether it's a nurse call, whether it's a blood pressure, whether it's your EKG cable, silencing your alarms. Once you're here, you're planted here, and you really don't need to move any. The other beauty of this is that I have immediate access to my hand sanitizer, so between touches, I can immediately sanitize my hands. Then I can go do a procedure. I can do an IV change. If I have a sharps in my hand, I have immediate access to a sharps container. I don't need to leave the bedside to go to a sharps disposal location. And then once I'm done with all of that, I have immediate access to wipes. Now I can wipe down the rail of the bed. I can wipe down the tabletop if I need to. I can wipe down my keyboard. I can wipe down everything I've done here. All right? I can wipe down my work surface. I can wipe my way out of the room. And then I can foam out when I get to the outside. This is a very optimal way of designing and equipping your, uh, any patient care environment for maximum uh, conformity to infection control initiatives.